Hey, Machine Dana here. I hope you're doing really, really well. I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the video. In this video, we're going to be going through how you can set up a donation ticker. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the hell is a donation ticker? Well, there's so many different donation tickers, labels, bars, goals, objectives. It gets a little bit confusing. What a ticker is, is it's a piece of text that will fly fast or slow across your screen and it'll show like one or a number of different people that have donated to your stream and this is specifically useful for people that are looking to save space and not have something there all the time something that's rolling through in this video i'm going to show you how you can set it up as a browser source if you're not using streamlabs obs to stream with if you are using streamlabs obs there's a widget version that's integrated into streamlabs obs which i'll also show you they're basically the same thing but one's browser paste url and one's not if you do find this useful feel free to give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe and if you want to ask me any questions whatsoever either jump in my discord link in the description or you can jump into my stream and check me out at twitch.tv forward slash machine dana let's go cool okay so first thing you're gonna to need to do is navigate to streamlabs.com log in you can use your twitch or youtube gaming credentials to log in to this it will link your twitch and youtube gaming to streamlabs at that point and we're concerned today with the all widgets and tip ticker if you can't find it because they quite often will change and mush things sometimes a developer at streamlabs will just go you know what let's just screw things up let's just move this like let's just let's just take it and just hide it somewhere Maybe just, just move it around a little bit and let's just screw people. So if that happens, just do a search in the bar. So click into this. Here is the browser source URL, which you can copy to your clipboard. Make sure you don't share this information because it does have information about your stream key on there. And here's a preview of kind of what it looks like as well. We can do all the settings here online, but I'll also show you the other version within Streamlabs OBS, the software. But now let's configure this. And also just for note here, you can manage themes uh, and there's a tutorial here from Streamlabs OBS on how to manage the themes there. So if you've got like a theme and you want that to be included within the tip ticker, many of the themes do support like custom CSS that you can add onto this. And this itself does support custom CSS. So here all we're doing is customizing what the tip ticker is. I keep, I keep saying like tip ticker, but it feels like I'm saying tit ticker. That's a very different thing. This, this is not a tit ticker. Okay, let me just get things really straight. This is not a tit ticker. It's for tips, for tips only, and not tips of tits. So here's a preview. Uh, we've got the message format. It uses these two variables, the name of the person and also the amount that they've donated. But you can have some custom text here, for example, legend. And as you can see, we'll just add the word legend in brackets. I, I don't know why you would do that, but you can do it. Now here you choose the maximum amount of donations that you want to be shown here. Let's just say we want just three donations to be shown. And this is going way too slow for me. So I'm just going to like, you know, drag this down here and like no, a little bit more. It's too slow. Come on faster there you go that's fast enough for me tom morgan eddie thanks for your generosity except eddie he wasn't that generous eddie it wasn't payday for eddie eddie can screw himself just ignore background color you choose a font if you want open sans is default don't have the open sans font everyone's got it okay just just change the font you spend two minutes picking a font that you like and it goes with your stream otherwise you look like a tool you, now you may think font size here's a quick tip actually you may think font size or you'll just resize it within Streamlabs or, or whatever software you're using. The problem with doing that is if you've got the text to a certain size and you resize it too large, it will pixelate. It's better to try and match the font size natively to what roughly it's going to be on your stream. And then you make the resizing tweaks that are only minor. And if you don't know about text size by now, you're not using Word documents enough, okay? Just, just do Word documents more. You can choose the font weight here and like you can basically just make the, the font skinnier. It's January, so let's be let's be skinny. At this point here, we can choose the text color. Um, you can use this to match the color of your stream, so whatever. Go pink. You can input a hex value if you prefer to. The amount in text color. We're gonna go with like yellow or something because it's you know like like gold. So that, that looks like it stands out pretty well and definitely matches the theme of my stream probably i don't know you can enable or disable custom css and html here so if you're good at like coding if you're a nerd uh, unlike me you can do all that good stuff in here css javascript also if you use managed themes to apply a widget theme to your stream then it will automatically apply all of the correct html and css in this section here that's basically what that's for kind of 
But for now, I'm just going to keep it simple and disable that. Now, at this point, I can click copy here to copy the widget URL. And I'll show you the first of the two ways of doing this, depending on whether or not you're using Streamlabs OBS. So now you get to see me a million times on Streamlabs OBS. That's not a bad thing, okay? All we need to do here is you can add a new source. Now, first things first, you can simply go here to tip ticker, tit, tip, tip, tit. Tit tick titty ticker there and add that source and there it is and it does pull in all the settings that you've got and, and there we can see the tipper there here's what i mean about the pixelation when you resize it you can see it's sort of a little bit blurry but you can resize this i'd recommend like trying to get the text size about the right size in the first place so that's if you're using streamlabs obs you can do that if you're not using streamlabs obs you simply go into your software, go into whatever button it says to add a source. Make sure you're clicking browser source. Click add source. You want to make sure that you're adding a new browser source and we'll call it the titty ticker. Paste in the browser source there. You've got some more options here that you can mess around with if you're in Streamlabs OBS, but if you're in your software like XSplit or OBS Studio or whatever, then you'll have the normal options that you always have for browser sources. Click done on that and the exact same thing. And this is now pulling in the data. Dirty Rat Fink, very generous. The Real Jam Jar, not so generous. Baked Sofa Spud, very generous. I've got some pretty weird viewers, okay? Really weird viewers. Mm. Another quick tip here is that you can, certainly within Streamlabs OBS, and I know you can do this in OBS Studio, if you hold out, it will, it will auto crop without actually adjusting the size of it. So you don't need all that extra stuff. Why that's useful here is, well, first of all, you don't want that full browser source, but here you can actually crop out a portion of this so that only one name is shown, just like that. So you can just kind of lighten the size of it if you want and then make sort of micro adjustments to it just by holding out. So there you have it, how to add a ticker to your stream using Streamlabs OBS or not using Streamlabs OBS. You just use the Streamlabs online tool and it's pretty good. Really keen to know how you guys use this. And also don't forget to check out the other things in the description below, like stream labels, which are quite similar, um, like event lists and other stuff like that. They're all, they're all in there. And it's just different ways of displaying the same types of information, but it's all personal preference. And I'm sure you'll make it look really beautiful, okay? Have a nice day.